Well, you guys got another video here for you. Stop Windows updates from destroying your laptop. That's right. You guessed it. The firmware update. There's so many people that are taking their laptops to repair shops because Windows updates has rolled out a BIOS update. And you can see it right here. You can see Asus firmware update. It's not just Asus. It's every manufacturer that's doing this now. And it will automatically, just like you see right there, go into a BIOS update. You can also see it in Windows here. Uh, you can see the Asus firmware update. And this is another one that can obviously brick your system. If your laptop shuts down for any reason at any time during that process, it could quite easily uh, brick your uh, laptop and you would have to take it to the PC repair shop for them to actually redo your BIOS and this is a really common problem right now. So what can you do to stop it? Well, if you're on a Windows Pro system, you can go to the group policy editor, open up the group policy editor by typing GP edit in the search and then navigate to this location right here. Computer configuration and then go to administrative templates, open that place up there, then go down to Windows components and then come down to the next location right here. Let me just uh, pull this open right here. And then when we come down here, you want to look for uh, Windows Update. It's just behind this little thing here. Let me just remove this banner so you can see it. It's just here. So click on Windows Update. And once you've got this open, you want to go over to the right hand pane and click on Manage Updates Offered from Windows Updates. So let me just quickly pull this open so you can see it here. It's just on the bottom here. So when you click on this right here, it should take you over to this window. So once you're inside that folder, what you want to look for here is do not include drivers with Windows updates. This is exactly what you want to be double clicking on. And this will also stop uh, the BIOS update and firmware updates. So inside here, you can now click on enable and this will basically block that from coming down. Once this is done, just apply and OK this and then restart your PC. And you can see right here, it says enable this policy to not include drivers with Windows quality updates. Now, this is not going to stop security updates and all your other updates from Windows. It's just going to block driver updates that they push out. Another thing you can do is go into the BIOS and inside the BIOS, you're going to be looking for the UEFI capsule firmware updates you want to turn this off and this will stop it you can see here this option controls whether the system allows bias updates via uefi capsule update packages note disabling this option will block bios updates uh, from services such as microsoft windows updates and linux vendor firmware services as well so if you see that in your bios you definitely want to turn that off if you don't want to have BIOS updates rolled out to you in your Windows updates or via uh, your actual application like MyAsus or something like that. There'll be tons of other laptops that have their own software. On ThinkPads and other laptops, you may see Windows UEFI firmware updates and there'll be a little enable uh, button there. You need to put that to disabled. Inside here, you can see that on the system update here in the actual application called MyAsus, there is a BIOS update and you can just uncheck this if you don't want to receive that update via this method and you can do it. But this might still be pushed out through the Windows updates. So you've got to be very careful. Otherwise, it can actually drop this onto the system. And again, you'll wake up and it will just automatically install like I showed you at the very beginning of the program. You can also see here automatic critical updates. I wouldn't touch that. I would leave that on. Some people have suggested turning that off, but I would leave that on. Moving on to the other location that you can do if you're on an ASUS system or another laptop that has a firmware section inside Device Manager, you might want to turn that off, and I'll show you where it is for this particular ASUS uh, laptop. Go to your Start button, right-click on it, and go to Device Manager. And once you're inside Device Manager, if you want to disable it this way, you can do. Inside Firmware on your laptop, have a look for Firmware. And you can see this one's an Asus uh, laptop. Again, yours might be different and it will say Asus 
UEFI and also device firmware and stuff like that. You can just disable this by right clicking on it and click disable and this will stop uh, the system from pushing out firmware updates to you and you can do them manually if you wanted to rather than having it rolled out through a update or Windows update because I think that's quite risky. If anything happens, say you've got low battery or something like that or, or it stops halfway through or the laptop shuts down during that process, it can brick the system and you can ask any PC repair shop or look online and you'll see tons of people that have had issues with brick systems because it shut down during the BIOS update or firmware update process, which you can't do. Now, by disabling all of this, like I said before, you will still receive all of your normal updates. You just won't be pushed out uh, the BIOS updates. I would personally uh, leave this enabled and enable all these features and go into the BIOS and find the UEFI capsule uh, update for that particular system and turn it off there. That way you're only turning off the uh, sort of false BIOS updates via the uh, application or via the Windows update. Let me know what laptop you've got and whether it actually forces updates to your BIOS through Windows updates or via the application and what brand of laptop it is that you've got and whether it actually does do that. I'll be interested to read your comments. And let me know whether it's happened to you or it's happened to someone else, whether it's bricked your laptop. I'll be interested to read your comments. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to wish everyone a happy new year and uh, thank you for the support, all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate it. And I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.